What's up YouTube, this is Joe from Zephyr War Games and one of the biggest excitements for Burst of Destiny was the new Bee Troopers. What were they going to be getting in Burst of Destiny? Would it break the deck? Would it make it top tier, tier one? You know, all of that. And the answer we got was, eh, it's okay. <laughs> I'm personally using all of them in my personal Bee Trooper deck just because, like, the only bad, like, quote unquote bad thing in the um archetype in terms of the new support was the fusion aspect of the deck. I don't know why they just randomly start getting fusions. Um but um as you can see I'm trying to utilize it within my B Trooper deck. Um there are two good cards within the new support and the trap is okay. Um and then obviously the fusion spun the fusion is just like unless you're playing it it's just not good. <laughs> like don't look at it. So this is what I've got, um, and I'm going to present to you guys here, obviously, base skeleton, as always, with my deck, so do bear that in mind. So, before I get to it, if you enjoy it, give us a like and subscribe down below. Ding that notification bell, because obviously, if you enjoy a person's content here on YouTube, you don't want to miss out on that content, and that notification bell helps prevent that. And all of that is greatly appreciated, and we thank you guys so much for doing so. So, with all that said and done, let's get into this B Trooper deck. Um, this is B Trooper Battle Offs, as always, because that is arguably the best way to play the deck. There is one card that is a stand-in for a different card. I'm waiting for it to arrive in the post, um, so I'll, I'll explain that once I get to it. Starting off with the B Troopers. I'm playing three copies of Scout Buggy. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. There we go. So three copies of Scout Buggy. Obviously, you've got to play Scout Buggy at least at two. Um, three copies of Scale Bomber, one of the best extenders in the B Trooper deck and in just insect decks in general, and is also the Disruptor as well, so do bear that in mind. Two copies of the brand new B Trooper Assault Roller. So what this card does is that he's a level 4 insect with 16 on attack and 14 on defense. You can special summon this card from your hand by banishing one insect from your graveyard. You can use special summon B Trooper Assault Roller once per turn this way. Gains 200 attack for each insect you control, except itself. And then when this card is destroyed by battle, you can add a B Trooper from the deck to hand, except Assault Roller. You can use the effect of Assault Roller once per turn. Konami, we're in year 2021. Why are you still giving us battle destruction searches? It makes no sense. <laughs> um, and only battle destruction searches as well. It's not even like destroyed by battle or effect. No, just by battle. Either way, he's still a good card because he's just basically extra copies of Aztec to P the Worm Warrior. He's just basically a B Trooper version of that. So um, there is a lot of synergy in the fact that he just shares B Trooper names. So if that does come into play at some point, you've got that going for him. Otherwise, he's just other copies of Aztec to P the Worm Warrior. Um, Aztec to P, I believe. Um, yeah, so that's why I'm playing as a two of. Um, he's still pretty good for that. At least as a one of I would recommend playing him at. Two copies of Sting Lancer, Sting Lancer, Sting Lancer. Searches all of your B Trooper stuff on summon and is also Disruptor from Grave. And then also the one copy of the Heavy B Trooper Mighty Neptune. This card is actually really good and there's a few combos that utilize him very well. Um, so if, what, if you don't know what he does, he's I believe a level 8, 3, 6. Yep, he's a level 8 insect with 3 plus attack and defense. Cannot be normal summon set must first be special summoned from your hand by shuffling three of your banished insect monsters into the main deck. So that's the only unfortunate main thing about him is that he can't shuffle back your extra deck stuff. Um, so during the main phase, if this card in its owner's control is destroyed or banished by an opponent's card effect, you can special summon this card. Curious is effect of heavy B Trooper and Mighty Neptune once per turn. And then once per turn during the end phase, you can target one other insect monster you control. It gains a thousand attack. So that can help you trigger your um, Cicada King in combo and it can get you like two free disruptions, which is pretty good. Um, so you tend to search this off, um, I believe your Resonance Insect, I believe that's the one that searches. 
uh, high level ones and so yeah moving on we have three copies of uh sting the poison we're getting to battle wasps now uh so sting the poison is just phenomenal he's a disruptor on your opponent's turn um it's an effect negator he searches on summon like this card does so much he's also a tuner in terms of my personal deck um three copies of pin the balls i just a fantastic extender uh one copy to embody the attacker um, i'm only playing one just because i had struggle to try and find deck space um for me personally i'm playing too many techs um but yeah so i like one twin body attacker he's a free extender but also being level three means you can go into the cicada king one copy of arrest the rapid fire um you tend to search this as a, like a turn two playmaker unless you can snore someone here and get back an insect so if you get back a sting you get a search and it's just basically a one card link three which is pretty good um that's it for the um, Battle Wasps. Moving on to the just generic inset support. Uh, one copy of Goki Pole combos with your three copies of Resonant Insect. And then I'm playing one copy of Contact C. Um, I'm not playing the other one, Retaliating C. I just think Contact C is just fine enough. And then this is supposed to be a Doom Dozer. But um, I sold my only copy and now I'm waiting for a new one in the post. Um, so... I'm using the Worm Warrior as kind of like a imaged proxy for it, um, as they are designed to the same in terms of like artistic style. So that's supposed to be a Doom Dozer. Uh, moving on to spells, B Trooper Formation, B Trooper Descent, and B Trooper Landing for the B Trooper spells. Um, so we all know what Formation does. It is a Monster Reborn field spell. B Trooper Descent, Special Summon B Trooper Token, Earth Insect Level 3, it a thousand attack and defense then if you control an insect monster with three powers and more attack you can destroy one other spell or trap on the field you activate one descent per turn um i'm tempted to play more copies of this um but uh in terms of more copies of that i'm playing two copies of multiplication of ants um as this is like this just gives you one token um but it doesn't like require anything to activate whereas these give you two tokens but you have to tribute insects so it's kind of like a mix uh mix mash there um b trooper landing uh so it's a normal spell fusion summon an insect fusion from your extra using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material if this card is in your graveyard except the turn you're sent there you can mash two insects from your graveyard and add this card to your hand you're never going to add it back to your hand uh, because you only play one of the fusion anyway uh, it sucks that it doesn't act like a miracle fusion it really should have <laughs> but uh konami didn't want to give us that um but yeah see so i play one of it just because i, I am playing the fusion um so you kind of have to play it um but yeah so that's that that's how i said two multiplication of ants um just trying to get everything nice and neat there you go this guy's definitely good though uh, the descent is very good uh, moving on for spells, playing one monster reborn, just a nice generic revival. I'm playing three copies of Forbidden Chalice. Uh, this is just my staple um, effect negator spell, just for all of my other decks. Um, I tend to keep like my high high hand traps, <laughs> high impact hand traps in my main decks to play. Um, but obviously, this is just a stand-in for any effect negator card. It can be Imperms, Ash, any hand traps you want, basically. Uh, again, I just gone for Chalice just because it's a nice, generic, cheap staple to put in any of my decks. Um, and copy Cool by Grave is Cool by the Grave. Moving on to traps, we're playing one copy of Flying Sting. It's your counter trap. You have to play it. And one copy of B Trooper Scroll. I'm just trying this card out. There's another token generator. Tribute a non-token inset. Special summon up to one B Trooper token. Earth inset. Level 3, 1,000 attack and defense. For every 1,000 attack, the original attack of that tributed monster. You can use one, you can activate one B Trooper scroll per turn. It would be busted if it was a spell card, to be honest. But um, I'm trying as a one of. If you tribute your Salt Roller, you're getting three tokens out of one card, which is pretty good. Um, if you don't count the tribute as a card. Um, and then you've got your Link Monster as well, which is pretty good as well. So it can generate you a lot of Link Fodder. Um, so I'm just trying it out just to see how it goes. Last in the main deck, I'm just playing three copies of Strike. This can be anything you want. I just wanted to go with some form of back row disruption. Um, and Strike is pretty good for that. Though, I hear Solemn Warning is going to get very good at the moment. Just because uh, Sword Soul and that card can stop that. 
Moving on to the extra deck, we're playing one of the fusion. <laughs> so this is Ultra B Trooper uh, Assaultus Hercules. Um, is an insect fusion monster, 4,000 attack and defense, so he's big. He takes four insect monsters. It can just takes insects, so you can use tokens to summon it. So I'm playing a lot of token generators, um, just because it mitigates the fusion requirement for this. The fact that this also takes insects means that if B Trooper does get at any point tier one or a meta threat, super poly target. <laughs> um, so after this card's fusion summon is unaffected by other card effects until the end of your next turn. At the end of the battle phase, you can target an insect with 3,000 less attack in your graveyard, special summit. You can use this effect of Ultra V Trooper Assault Hercules once per turn. So this can revive your Invincible Atlas, though in all honesty, Atlas is still the better bait stick. <laughs> like he is still the better boss monster. I'm just trying it out as a one-off just to see how it goes. It may just come out at any point anyway. Um, we all know what Atlas does. And we're playing two gobbies of Seraph and Pabion. This card is a phenomenal um, turn ender because you can just, you know, use it as disruption on your opponent's turn, get back a sting, get back an extender. This card just does a lot. Two copies of Insecta Picophenia. Um, just generates so much advantage in your combos. Three copies of Armor Horn. Um, additional normal summon, revives itself. This card is just does so much for you. Um, one copy of Shinobi Insect, you basically play this in case you get nibs, you can then turn any of the nib stuff into an insect and you can keep on going. One copy of Almarge combos with your, um, blah, 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 what is it again, your Resonance Insect. For XCs, I'm playing two copies of Cicada King. Uh, you can play the other insect monster, the other Link 3, the number 13, I think it is. Um, let's try and get out. Uh, number 20, Giga Brilliant, as another generic insect you can make. That's Link 3, uh, rank 3, but I think CK King's just overall better, outshines it in every way. And because I want to play the synchros, I am playing two um, B Troop, um, B4C, uh, Battle Synchros. It forms Asusa, the, um, the Ghost Bow, and the Amaryllist. Um, so that's what my personal tech in there. So guys, that's it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed it. Leave your comments down below what you think of the B Trooper support. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, I'd like to hear how you're building your B Trooper deck. Um, and the combos that this deck can do is just fantastic. And it's great that insects can finally do stuff. Um, in all honesty. Um, that is remotely good. Um, and is actually kind of a good locals tournament deck. You can, I can even see this going into like regionals and stuff like that. A lot of good duelists that play insects very well are doing very well with this deck. So pick it up, learn it to the best that you can learn it, and uh, you should see some really good results. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. To next time, as always, stay safe and happy dueling. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>